Hey guys, um, so I decided to start this. I finished night yesterday, which is um, pretty small, and I was like, you know, I've got some other small things I can read, um, just because I feel like it's really taking me for a long time to read the books I'm in the middle of. Um, so I'm definitely going to finish this today. It's The Diving Bell and the Butterfly uh, by Jean-Dominique Balbi, um, and this is translated, oof, my nose is running, uh, translated by... Uh, Jeremy Legart. Um, this is the memoir of a man that had locked-in syndrome, I think because of a stroke. Uh, I think there was a movie about this too. Um, it's very, very beautifully written. Uh, so I am enjoying reading this even though, again, I need to maybe read something a little happy. I feel like all I've been reading lately, I mean, I'm a, fa a fan of downers, but I think lately it's a little bit aggressively down. <laughs> but they've all been really, like, four or five star reads, so I don't know. I should read something fun, though. My kitties. I've got one under the sheet and one out of the sheet. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Shirley. Get her! <laughs> Shirley. Where'd she go? This is the best. They just do this all the time. Her and Jake call it trolling. One of them is always underneath some. Baby. <laughs> hey guys, um, my internet isn't working for some reason, so I was going to sit here and watch book two, but I guess I'm going to sit here and read instead, so probably for the best. Hey guys, um, I, oh my gosh, everything, it's got a lot of Jake's pockets. Uh, so I did finish The Diving Bell and the Butterfly um, by Jean-Dominique Bauby um, earlier today before I went to work. Um, I'm reading magazines at work now, so I had to read anything else. Um, but I'm gonna... I think I just want to go to bed, but I'm gonna try to read a little bit more of Out um, before I go to sleep, which I don't know where that is right now. I think it's in my backpack. Um, yeah, I need to finish some of these books that I'm in the middle. I keep, like, picking up these teeny little things. I'm really excited, though, because my, um, percentage of translated is a third of the books that I've read so far this year, so I'm really pumped. Um, but when I go to reading African American authors, it's gonna be nothing translation, so I need to, like, bump it up a little bit more. I've got, like, you know, I guess this is only the second month and it's only the ninth of me doing translated only, so... I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. I'll talk to you later. Baby got her arms crossed. Baby. I'll be honest with you. I started a new book. Um, I just barely started it. I read two chapters, but this is so good. I am so pleased. I'm definitely getting like You by Caroline Kepnes vibes. Very, very good. I'm very pleased. No, okay. Well, that's enough. <laughs> hey guys, um, I just—I <laughs> was literally—I just woke up. It's Friday. The oh 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 my gosh! I guess cat pair is over. It got my indispensable box. So the second that the paper was out, Miss started munching on it. But I'm so excited. Uh, so it looks like some sci-fi stuff is happening. So the book that we're getting is The Mars Room. 
So, oh my gosh. Oh, Ursula K. Le Guin, Conversations on Writing with David Nolan. Uh, so, I guess, I don't know. I will fix a, uh, like an interview. And then the flamethrowers. I feel like I have wanted to read for a little bit. So, that's very exciting. And then, of course, the actual book is The Mars Room by Rachel Kushner. I don't think I've heard of this. Okay, so this is what the cover looks like inside the whatever you want to call it, and that looks intense. Also, it's the same author as The Flamethrowers. It says that right here. I got the bottom. Um, yeah, I'm very, very excited about this. As you know, this piece will be torn by the city to come here, so I decided to come by with a special treat for you. Will you? Hey guys, uh, it is Saturday night, um, I think, yeah, um, so I'm reading Dear Mr. M, I was hoping to finish this today because I'm delusional, uh, that's not happening, uh, but yeah, so I'm reading this, and Jake is currently sitting on the sofa with me, and he is reading the new Chucky P book, um, Chuck Palahniuk, whatever, um, Adjustment Day. So, yeah, he's reading this um, because he's going to do a review of it for the Pacific Sentinel. Is that right, babe? The Pacific Sentinel? Yeah. Which is the magazine at his um, university. And he's going to be the editor of it next year. Right, babe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going to be the editor of it next year. So it's very exciting. Um, but, yeah, so he bought this uh, book today so that he could do a review. And, yeah, so we're just sitting on the sofa. Jake's mostly playing with the cats. Um, and I'll talk to you later, I guess. I don't even know anymore what I'm doing here. Also, Jake is miserable because he's having allergies. How do you feel, babe? Dust from their butts is getting in my nose and making it hard for me to breathe. Hey guys, um, we are on our way to have brunch with Ben and Marty for Marty's birthday. Jake's driving as usual. Um, and yes, very exciting. Woohoo! Uh, Sunday. Hopefully, we have time to read later today. Uh, I've got my grocery list with us so that we can go grocery shopping on the way home, though. <laughs> We are at no. What did you say? <laughs> Marty's birthday. It's Ben. It's not his birthday. Let's go. Uh, we're at No Bones Beach Club, which is a vegan place. And there's this is so delicious. It's buffalo cauliflower wings. Nom, 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 nom. And yeah, everything looks good. I'm probably gonna cut this out. <laughs> I don't know how me and Jake do it. Uh, Jake has to read this book, and so we lay down to read, and then both of us fell asleep. I think we've been asleep for like at least two or three hours. Oh, it's already six. Um, I bought I bought some stuff while we were with Ben and Marty, and uh, probably shouldn't have, but I got uh, the Arab of the Future. Numbers one and two. Um, mother, if you're watching this, don't judge. Um, I am going to read these tonight. Uh, I was planning on reading this book for like an hour and a half. Um, I'm getting, you know, I'm making progress on it. So I'm going to read this for a little bit more and then I'm going to read those. But I think I'm going to make dinner first because I'm a little hungry. I'll see you guys later. This is the laziest Sunday. I got so much to do. This is terrible. All right. I have just started The Arab of the Future. I'm hoping to read at least volume one today and maybe read volume two um, tomorrow. It depends how long it takes me. Uh, there is quite, um, I guess this isn't like super text heavy page, but there's quite a bit of text. So uh, definitely at least this one.